Um, Ah, uh, shit. Um, you know, Jason, I, that's another, that's a whole other show because it's hard to, how do you heal from something that hmm. you watch somebody lie about for so many years? Mm -hmm. So it's just... So how are you healing? Because we know you're beautiful on the outside and we know inside that, you know, you can be as beautiful as you want to be on the inside, but how are you healing? I, I, this, okay. So the show was about a year ago. So I, for those that don't know, that show was filmed a year ago. We're just not seeing what made it on the air. Um, it's hard to heal as a, just a, a, a person. Imagine having to heal in the public eye. Mm -hmm. So I, really never really talked about none of this because how do you heal with all this noise right i don't i i think i'm just I, i'm a strong one but it's really painful to watch men do what they do and then because they have a platform lie about it to your face like it's it's almost like you're making a mockery, like you're making fun of me. It's also my safety um, that I'm concerned about. You know, I'm 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 team to hear you. I'm, it's just me, Daddy, in here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm the oldest of fourteen, so um, I think that the way I was dealing with being in a relationship with Joe was tucking it in a back, just tucking it, hiding it, just because I can't stop. I have to continue going because people rely on me because I have to handle stuff because I have to grow in this business because I'm not going to fold. I'm not failing because you want me to. And I just keep going um, until your trauma meets you. So, you know, the words of my friend Charlemagne, either you meet your trauma or the tra trauma will meet you. I didn't walk into that house to discuss being in a domestic violence before. It just set me face to face. Um, and then watch your ex say something like, Tahiri will fight a man. I didn't fight him. I was scared to death. Mm -hmm. um, and by all means today, I'm not a fighter. I'm just going to defend me, my mom, my sister. I'm the oldest. I'm going to defend everything I love and I work hard for. Mm -hmm. Um but no, I don't walk around throwing apples or fighting a man. Like, I've been beaten before. I, I, I you know, that relationship left me with a fractured rib, uh, a broken nose because somebody was sending him a message. And, and I used to always say, yo, stop beefing out there. Oh, I'm out there still working. Um, and he hit me on that nose and then pushed me down a flight of stairs. I remember having to talk him out of letting me go that day. I remember having a plan to leave because the reason why he was so upset was because I was already leaving, um, looking through my phone and shit. But I had already told him, give me two weeks to pack up my things. Um, and he agreed to and then started looking through my phone. Next thing you know, I, I got woken up by him dragging me from my ankle. Mm. I managed to get up from that floor. I remember having everything in my bag, all the things that I needed to have in that bag, my, my passport, my birth certificate, you know, the shit that I needed. That's all I needed to get some money that I had already had together because I didn't, I was raised better. I never saw my mom hit, my father hit my, my mom. I, I, you know, I knew better, but I don't know. It, I became that person that you hear about. But and you never I, thought you would be that person. Oh, and, 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 and the women need to know that a man will break your spirits before he actually puts his hands on you. It started with verbal abuse, emotional abuse. You know, and then eventually it turned to that. Um, I, and I still, I still fear for my safety, also protecting because, you know, he hurt me bad and I just stayed quiet. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I went to the hospital and he sat next to me and I lied to the doctors and said I was cleaning a cabinet and fell in my kitchen. Um, so do and then you, he, so do you, then so he about it. Wait, what was the last part you just said? He rapped about it. 
he kind of, you know, kind of said something about fracturing a rib, you know, hitting her in the rib. It was just so, It's it, and for years I've just sat there and and I've let go and let God, at least I thought, um, I've tried to deal with this privately, but every chance you get, you sit there and you lie. And then you go as far as to doing 20 something minutes of your podcast and you say to Hiri, well, she will fight a man? No, I'm gonna fight you back if you're trying to hit me. And I didn't fight him. To sit there and have something to say about domestic violence, I, I've been I've been home for what three weeks, trying to clear my mind on how to, like, why 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 am I not with you physically but mentally? You're trying to keep me in this prison. Hmm. Well, I didn't know I didn't know all that. I I, I I'm sorry if I I really didn't know all that happened. I'm sorry that that happened and. Um, and, and so my question to you, cause I know you're talking about healing on the inside. How does one who's been through that, something like that end up with a Vado who does it again? Like, do you, do you, were there no signs? Were there, was there nothing that? No. Um, I just, I, I don't, I don't know. I, there's either two ways you can look at it. Uh, I sit here and I try and I, I therapy is one, um, <clears throat> One, I, I know what it is to, to, to have to be hurt to, to somebody that loves you to put their hands on you. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't, but I am gonna fight you back if you hit me. Um, I, it's therapy and, and, and just creating your inner circle and, and winding up with Vado in 20 years, never. He was never like, you know, we've never had these issues. We got on camera and it turned into that. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that, you know, um, now everything that Vado's saying and stuff, I believe, is just because he's rolling with whatever story's airing, and that affects me. Because why not stand up and say, "Hey, I don't remember that day. Hey, I was wasted. Hey, um, I, I, you know, she was wrong. I was wrong. But I, I must have been igniting that shit that I know she has with her. Although she's never been that person when it comes to me. Um, I have text messages of his apologies and, and, um, and his, you know, his. I should have handled you different in that house, and I let pride ego but, does, but doesn't he realize every time he makes an excuse publicly and lie on Instagram that it's re-victimizing you? Does he not get that part? I don't know it yet. I can't worry about them, Jason. But I guess I, I just have to worry about me. Um, I have receipts. I just don't. I'm not that girl. Like you think I'm gonna sit here and look through this shit that I could post this shit so the world could see this shit? Because it no, I have to get better with me. So what I have to do is kind of disconnect myself from that. You know, I don't hit me on Monday. Checking up on you. What are you checking up? If I'm that person, and I've been that person to you. Why are you reaching out to me still? You know, why are you saying I'm downstairs? I remember hitting my manager and people saying, yo, this is why I have to move. Don't be downstairs, you know, or speak up and say, hey, I was super twisted. That's not an excuse. I fucked up. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't I wasn't holding it down when it came to Tahiri. So the people going back and forth online about this shit, like this is why we don't speak up. I don't want to have to deal with that on top of trying to get, you know, figure out how to stay healthy, be healthy, how to work my inside. Um, and then comes the ex who clearly is lying and his friends know and he's just ha 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 well you know i hope she's doing well but you text me wednesday when this shit went viral yo you went down yo he text me why are you asking me fam like leave me alone at this point point. and yes i went back like every woman has gotten beaten before yes and i left and yes we've spoken off and on throughout the years, yes. And yes, we filmed the same, yes, we're on the show, yes. My sick brain, probably thinking, you know, you keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Um, he, he, you know, he knows me, I was with him for such a long time, he knows there's no mom, there's no, there's no dad, there's a mom who doesn't really know what this industry's like, there's, I'm the oldest, you know what I'm saying, I'm about the cousins, you know what I'm saying? So it comes to, you come fear, then you start to think about him, like to hear you haven't spoken, but I'm tired. I just want to just be triggering watching it. If you if you've ever been in an abusive relationship, it's triggering. For me, it was triggering because I know both of these people and to hear is somebody I have love for. So and I'm familiar with her history. So when she says I have I have been attacked by men before, that is a true statement. I'm almost surprised she didn't attack him like to will, will fight a guy, unfortunately.
Like that's that's a tough exterior that a lot of women unfortunately have to have to have. There have been instances where Tahiri has had to mix it up with a man. So you're watching this and you're looking at her reaction and it's like as somebody that 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 loves her it's like damn it's almost like I don't feel like fighting a man right now. <laughs> like I've been in this situation, I know where this could go. I don't feel like doing this right now also it looked like when this happened she probably had sobered up a bit from when she tossed those apples because that that looked like a lot of wine and a real bad decision i don't encourage any woman to be physical with men or period with anybody or throw things at men especially when for me i I just call spade a spade like it looked like it looked like the performance went a little off off cue. <laughs> mm. Cuz I still don't think that these two are in a relationship. <laughs>